in this lecture we're going to discuss uh, the physical properties of different organic compounds and we studied diff we studied different homologous series and we are now going to study their physical properties and the first thing that comes to mind when we talk about physical properties are the melting and boiling points melting and and boiling points now uh, when we're discussing melting and boiling points uh, there's a general rule that applies to all organic compounds and that rule is that as size increases as the size of molecules increase so does the melting and boiling points so the melting and boiling points also increase now the reason why they increase is it depends on the intermolecular forces a bigger molecule has more intermolecular forces which we are going to study in more detail in a levels for now you must understand that a bigger molecule is going to attract other molecules more strongly which is why its melting and boiling points are going to be higher so if you have for example if i take a homologous series and i'm discussing this for particular homologous series so if we have uh, let's say homologous series uh, and let's discuss alkanes if i have methane followed methane then a bigger molecule uh, uh, in the homologous series of alkanes is ethane then you have propane then an even bigger molecule would be butane so as we move up the homologous series as we go to bigger and bigger compounds the melting points and boiling points melting and boiling points are also are also increasing in exactly the same way so generally what happens is that uh, smaller molecules tend to be smaller molecules they tend to be either either uh, gases at room temperature or they are volatile substances at room temperature and on the other hand if you have large molecules they would tend to be less volatile they would be solids or or wax like substances wax like substances which would not be very volatile they will not evaporate easily you have uh, candle wax as an example and they would be less volatile so that's a general rule that applies to all homologous series but if you want to want to find out which, whether which uh, uh, family of organic compounds have relatively low melting and boiling points and which families of organic compounds have relatively higher melting and boiling points then i'll briefly describe to you that uh, alkenes for example if you have alkenes and alkenes now these two homologous series they tend to be they have relatively low melting and boiling points
and if you take the other homologacies for example alcohols and carboxylic acids so alcohols and carboxylic acids they have relatively higher melting and boiling points melting and boiling points so remember this uh, difference then you have other homologacies which uh, generally fall in between they have uh, they, they don't I, they don't have uh, very high or very low melting and boiling points. These are esters. Amines also uh, uh, Amines would be grouped with alcohols and uh, carboxylic acids because they generally also tend to have relatively higher melting and boiling points. Then you have esters which come in between um, alkanes and alkenes. So so uh, if you want to generally find out which homologacies have low and low melting and boiling points and which have higher melting and boiling points then i've given you a detailed list and if you if and within a homologacies remember that as the size of the molecule increases so does the melting and boiling point increase the second property that we're going to study is called uh, it's called viscosity Now, what we mean by viscosity is it's the it's the wax-like property of different substances so certain substances are wax-like property that is that they do not flow very easily uh, wax-like substances don't flow easily you have honey as an example honey uh, uh, it it does not flow very easily now honey is one example but you've noticed that many many um, uh, fossil fuels for example engine oil you uh, you might have no noticed engine oil they, they're very thick they have they have a thickness to it they don't flow very easily so uh, or the general rule that applies to organic compounds is that as the size of the molecule increases So as size of molecule increases, the viscosity also increases. So larger molecules, they tend to be more viscous, they, they're more wax-like. So whenever, you de whenever you're dealing with substances that do not flow very easily, for example, engine oil, or you might have noticed that kerosene also, uh, does not uh, flow very easily but octane or petrol in your cars that flows very easily so if something is flowing very easily it's less viscous that means that the number of carbon atoms in that particular molecule um, that's a small molecule it's it's not a very big molecule and if on the other hand you see a candle wax which does not flow very smoothly it's very viscous that means that the number of carbon atoms or the size of the molecule is uh, very large in candle wax so remember that as the size of the molecule increases viscosity of organic compounds it also increases with it 